to the always locked self-storage start point. Green lights are on for the street stop. Oh, Kriego trying to make it work on the top side. Here comes Pangrezio. Two for one off of turn number two. Now he goes for three underneath a car that he won a track title with here at Canandaigua just a few seasons ago. Nick Dandino will lead here on lap number one. But Pangrazio with a full send into turn one, but we've got trouble. Caution lights are on. One car over the bank. Green lights are back on. And I'll tell you what, Krigo was right there with Pangrazio on the restart. They told him in the driver's meeting tonight, if you get to that second mark in turn number four and the leader doesn't go, the game on. But Pangrazio gets the advantage here into turns three and four. How about the run for Axel Jensen right now? Running in third. Wow, that was close. Pangrazio's walking the dog here. But Depew knows if he can get up into that second spot and a late yellow comes, he's going to be right back in the ball game. Seven laps in the book, 13 to go. Depew working on Rick Kriego. And what a run so far for Mark Manulo running in the four spot. He started from position number 10. Picked off six along the way. As we're going to double box in here, the battle for fifth and the battle for second. The battle for second on the left-hand side of your screen, the battle for fifth on the right-hand side. Depew will now clear Kriego down the back straightaway, and there goes Jared Hill. He'll clear Mike Welch down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, halfway home for Josh Pangrazio, and he's starting to hit lap traffic. Don't get on the gas too early. Get a nice run up at turn four. You see Kriego shaking the back end a little bit. He was shaking tail feathers off of turn four, and that was what Manutlo needed. He just picked his pocket off of turn two. So move smooth up onto the podium here with seven to go. Street Stocks trying to go with just one yellow in this one here. And here, look at Nick Dandino climb his way back through the field. It wasn't that long ago we saw him out toward the woods in turn number one. And now he's working on Mike Welch to move up to the sixth spot. So the Hemrod Hot Rod Express is a hot rod here for sure. What a dominant performance to start out the season for the Honky Tonk Express. Into turns three and four for the final time. The Skyline RV sales and service number seven. Give it to Old Blue off of turn number four. The Honky Talk Express goes to the lane. Pangrazio wins. Depew comes home with a fine second place run, as does Manutlo in third. Finishing fourth is going to be Nick Gandino after spinning and coming from the back of the pack. Finishing fourth. Let's hear it for Josh Pangrazio. Let all but one lap. Yeah, I seen him. Uh, it, uh, he must have gotten a slop and uh, took him for a ride. I'm guessing. Okay. A little bit different ride this time for the. Uh, uh, what did we call it again on the outside again? Refresh my memory. Uh, I guess it's a honky tonk. That's right. It wasn't really that car tonight, was it? Nah, it was too dirty up top. Um, just, uh, just kept it uh, kept it in the black on the in the middle and on the bottom. Okay. Looked like it worked pretty well. Could this car be much better than it was tonight? It can always be better. Um, we tried some different things tonight. Uh, definitely uh, hit on some things, but uh, I think we just need to go a little bit further with it. Okay.